Good morning everyone. Good morning sessions. Panatang mga bayan, iniibig ko ang Pilipinas, akin lupang sinalangan, tahanan ng akin na kunukupkup ako at tinutulungan upang maging malakas, masipag at parangan. Dahil mahal ko ang Pilipinas, diringin ko ang payo ng aking mga magulang, susundin ko ang tuntunin ng aking paaralan, tutuparin ko ang tungkulan ng isang mamayang makabayan na naglilingkod, nag-aaral at nagdarasal na buong katapatan. Inaalay ko ang aking buhay pangarap pagsisikap sa bansang Pilipinas. Giver of light and wisdom, thank you for giving me a mind that can know and a heart that can love. Help me to keep learning every day of my life, no matter what the subject may be. Let me be convinced that all knowledge leads to you, and let me know how to find you and love you in all the things you have made. Encourage me when the studies are difficult and when I am tempted to give up. Enlighten me when my brain is slow and help me to grasp the truth held out to me. Grant me the grace to put my knowledge to use in building a better world. Amen. Mission, we are a private educational institution of choice in a community of professional educators and lifelong learners. In collaboration with our stakeholders, we are committed to provide a caring and stimulating environment that nurtures holistically developed individual equipped with 21st century skills. Vision, we envision our students to be highly motivated learners with creative and open minds, effective communication skills, a depth responsible use of information, media and technology, and able to navigate life with career paths with confidence, discipline, and integrity. In partnership with parents and community, we strive towards the total development of our students that they may reach their fullest potential and become productive members of society in the service of others. Students out number one, I will set my goals in life and I'll acquire the knowledge and skills necessary in order to achieve them. I will work hard and I will never give up, even when difficulties arise. I realize that difficulties are opportunities to better myself through perseverance on my way to success. Number 2. As a citizen of the earth, I must stay worth of all our bounty and will use her resources with care and responsibility. I will remember her that her gifts are to be shared by all, including the generations still to come. Number 3. As a youth of my nation, I will be a productive member of society and work to contribute to the development of my country. I will lead through action and involve in making my country strong and great. Number four, as a member of my family as a student of Southeastern College, I will give gratitude to my parents and teachers. Treat everyone with respect and courtesy. Do my task with discipline and diligence and conduct myself with courage, dignity and integrity always. I will seek the counsel of my elders when the need arises. Students oath number five. I shall always keep myself, my home, my school, and my environment clean and tidy. I will take care of the things entrusted to me and be responsible for their appropriate use, maintenance, and safekeeping. Students oath number six. I will build my character through habits of excellence. I will lead an honest life free from all corruption, 
and adopt a righteous way of life in order that I may contribute to peace and harmony in the world. Students' Oath number 7. I will be a lifelong learner and keep the lamp of knowledge lit forever. I will work hard to develop and grow in mind, body, and spirit. Students' Oath number 8. I will do my best in all that I do in order that I may be of service to my family, my community, my country, and my God. At this point, let us all welcome Ms. Casey Diala, the advisor of Grade 8 Altruists, for our Value Focus of the Week. Year 2020 A year that started off filled with so many promises. Resolutions were written, calendars were marked for travel, and everyone was looking forward for a fresh start. What took us by surprise was that this year turned out to be the total opposite of everything that we were hopeful for. From volcanic eruptions, typhoons, and up to this pandemic that we are amid, we have faced all these events that tested not only our faith, but also our mental and emotional well-being. We suddenly had to live our daily lives in a totally different way from what we used to. In a blink of an eye, we instantly had to conform to the new normal. Our world now revolved around masks, face shields, and physical distancing. Everything had to be done within the four walls of our home. Specifically for us, learning had to be done from home. From going to school to going online, from uniforms to casual clothes, from whiteboards to monitors, classes had to be done without the physical presence of your friends and classmates, a routine totally different from all your years as students. Us teachers were faced with a challenge that questioned our ability to teach from a distance. This year has been full of changes and challenges. One after the other, that the good things have been clouded by the bad, making us question ourselves, are we still going to make it? Am I still going to be okay? It made the things we should be grateful for difficult to see and easily take for granted. Before this year comes to a close, let us take this moment to reflect and appreciate the things that we have failed to notice. We are still here, safe and healthy, and surrounded by family. We have access to education and technology that made learning from a distance easier and possible. We met new friends and had a support system that made going through this year easier. Gratefulness. One of the simple yet important things can easily be overlooked when faced with bigger challenges. Just like in the words of an author, Melody Beatty, Gratitude turns what we have into enough and more. It turns denial into acceptance, chaos into order, confusion into clarity. It makes sense of our past, brings peace for today, and creates a vision for tomorrow. 2020 may be highlighted with negativity and downfalls, but without these trials, we will not be able to appreciate the things and people who supported us along the way. Look at us now in the last month of this year, still striving and full of hope that everything will go back to what was once before. This year made us warriors. We had fought hard, and we will end this year even fiercer and stronger. Thank you, Sessions. May we always start each day with a grateful heart. The builder of future of the land here to do it In hearts and words and in bits we are bound to defend Talk is clear and rich now Now all our bitters turn sins Too far. So 
Sessions, let us all prepare ourselves for the moment of mindfulness. We will use this to strengthen our focus and concentration. Close your eyes and calm your minds. Don't think of anything else and just focus on your breathing as you inhale and exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Continue focusing on your breathing. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Good morning sessions. May we all have a productive week ahead.